Good morning everybody. It is February 13th and it's 10.38. I have showered and everything. I was going downstairs to go check the email and that on Pete's computer and there was this noise outside so I looked out the front window and there's about three huge water trucks um, parked up in front of our house which means they're working on the water line so I ran upstairs as fast as I could and jumped in the shower real quick and washed my hair. I was waiting <laughs> waiting for like to get the shampoo in and then the water to go out but usually they do put a note through the door or let you know if anything is working. Nothing's working. I can't. Here we go. No because of the window. Oh hold on. Sorry guys I just can't hold my arms up today. <laughs> I know, the life of a vlogger is not very good, but anyway, I'm not going to be too long. I'm just watching some vlogs, making my usual list of people to go visit, um, channel-wise. I'm making a list of things I have to get done this week. Uh, all I can think about is Thursday, so next week all the kids are out of school, so that's good. I don't have anywhere to be next week. Hopefully Ash will get more than three days. She only got three days this week, but... She's excited because she got three days off in a row. She's exhausted. So she has today, tomorrow and Thursday off. And tonight she's going out to dinner with friends. I forget what they're calling it. Not Valentine's. <sighs> She'll tell you. Anyway, I think they'll have a great time. I'm glad she's going out with them. Ah, uh, uh, hair in my eye. So I'm going to make a meatloaf if the meat defrosts in time. I should have thought about it last night. I try and make things on the nights that Ashley's not around for dinner that I know she doesn't eat anyway so that way I don't have to make two things even though she's old enough to make her own stuff and she does she actually made me eggs on toast for dinner last night because that's all I wanted and Pete had leftovers he finished the chicken and the steak his glass for his phone should be coming at some point today I feel like I need to listen out for that for that so I can check the envelope real quick and make sure it's in there this time we finally got our credit through because I told you the second time they put it through twice so we had to wait for two credits one for the one that didn't arrive and then one of the two that they blankety blank remember that tv show blankety blank I'm sure my age Louis is star fishing on the floor <laughs> he's just like I have to keep checking him to make sure he's breathing he's so quiet which I shouldn't complain about because when he's noisy I might be quiet Roxy's behind me on the chair as usual Tail is under his left leg. Crazy boy. So just made pizza for lunch. I just got up a little while ago. We're watching. Look who's talking. Now. Now. The first one? No, it was the one with the dogs. Oh, the one with the dogs, because Ash loves this one. And the guys are still outside making so much noise. They're all just sitting in their truck, so I don't know. Just making... Oh, there is one poor bloke outside while the other's sitting there, because it's cold today. Very cold. My friend, because I'm about to eat and we're waiting for the mail. Yeah, Carter was there. Carter was there for Chris Nan's comedy show. Wait, so Chris Nan's comedy show? Yeah. Hey everyone, Pete's on his way home to the little after five. His, we just got the mail actually as well. Um, and his glass has come for his phone. It was just thrown right onto the, the front step. There's actually something in this envelope. I could see it. My face is really, is it red or is it just because I'm by the window? Maybe because just by the window. I feel like I'm always complaining, but it's the same thing as yesterday with the old back. So I've just been kind of sitting here trying to get a handle on the old pain. Um, yeah, Ash she's getting ready to go out. I don't know if she's going out to about 7.30, or the reservation's at 7.30. But uh, then Pete's going to come home, he's got to grab some stuff, and then he's going over to take pictures of the Board of Education the guys and the ladies to put in the yearbook and then he'll be home after that. I think I'm still making a meatloaf. I have to see if that is actually defrosted yet. It was a bit hard when I checked it a little while ago. Anyway, I'm competing with the sound of the TV so I will talk to you in a bit. So pretty out. Okay. Ah, oh, did you hear that? That was my back clicking. Pete left. Um, it's not my day. I just mixed up all the stuff for the meatloaf and realised I don't have any breadcrumbs. Now, my mum used to do regular bread and just make that crummy. 
So but I figured seeing this pizza go now is going to be right next to a right next to a grocery store. So if he'd rather have pizza ready set in his ways, if he'd rather have breadcrumbs because he picks them up, but then the meatloaf won't go in until he gets home. It takes 50 minutes to cook. That's fine. He's not going to be that late. He's taken a few pictures now before their meeting starts at 7. I opened another container, so I left him a message. He obviously got there quicker than I thought. I'm filthy. I opened up another package that had sour cream spinach in it. Flicked all over my hair, so I just wet my hair as if it went wet on top. So, and then I just, then I start washing the dishes. I, you can't really see it's on this arm and all the way up. I just soaked myself. I'm like, I'm going to go sit down and wait, see what he says. See if he'll pick me up some breadcrumbs because he's running over to Staples to get a couple of notebooks and notepads and a message pad for the office because we're out. And the calls are all starting to come in now and the crazy emails are starting to come in. I'm just going to sit here now, mind my own business, wait half an hour, see if he calls. If not, I will just put all that in the fridge and we'll have meatloaf tomorrow and I'll have to put on my thinking cap for tonight. But I was really looking forward to meatloaf and these. I've got these roast potatoes from Trader Joe's with onions and stuff, pep, onions and peppers I think. I was just really looking forward to that and have salad. Ay ay ay. Try and get ahead. Try and get ahead, don't I rock? Oh, and then, because the meat's the meat that I divvied up from Costco the other day, I was like, ah, oh, it's a pound and a half. I only need a pound for my recipe. So I break it up, make sure I have a pound, put the others away in the fridge, rolled up for another day. Go back to my recipe. The recipe calls for a pound and a half. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I unravel it all, and it's in that cling film, so it's really hard to, it like really, <coughs> really clings. What a numb nut. So anyway, I'll wait to hear from, from Peter and see what he says. Yeah, it's it's 7.01 right now, so he's probably in there already taking pictures, so I'll just wait 20 minutes. So Pete called right back. He's actually going to pick up the breadcrumbs. Ashley just came down. She's ready to go out. She's all dolled up. Ready for her Galentine's night. <laughs> Such a weird word, but I get it now you've explained it. So you're looking forward to it? Yeah. You haven't been there in ages, have you? Yeah. Since they had Dad's favorite food. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have fun. <coughs> bye. Roxy says bye. She just put a shirt button in your loose face. <coughs> she doesn't want you to go. <coughs> Roxy, you're single. You can come. All the single ladies. <laughs> All the single ladies. <laughs> have a blast. Bye. Post a lot. <laughs> Oh, you're out of focus. Oh, this camera. Now you're back in. So dinner is meatloaf and roast potatoes with peppers and onion. Sasha's home. She had a good time. She was in here showing me. They bought gifts. Oh, so sweet. The two girls that put it together. The two girls that put the night together did gifts. Got a gift bag that said Happy Valentine's Day on it and a pillow and body lotion from Bath and Body Works and key ring and um, heart box of chocolates and all sorts and then another one made something and put a pen with a queen crown on top and another girl gave a bag of all different sweets. It was so sweet. I was like, didn't even know Valentine's Day existed and um, they all decided to get together, which I thought was really nice. Hair, who cares? It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I shouldn't even be worried about it. I can't. Sometimes I look up and I'm like, don't look up, Sue. Don't look up. But then when I edit the next day, I'm like, ugh, why didn't you look up and see what a state you are? Pete just came up. He's fixed his phone, the glass. But the glass is a lot thicker than the glass that was on there before. So he's not too... He said it's okay, it's going to bother you. I can tell it's going to bother him because he keeps looking at it. But then they sent a screensaver protector that he's put on, which is very thick. So I think having that on with the glass and there's like a blue spot right in the middle. And I said, well, I think you should write him because it look, that's in the glass, I think. But um, he's going to give it a go. It's better than what he had with all the tape on it. But like I said, you are eligible to upgrade if you want to upgrade. 
but he just doesn't want to do that. I mean, the way he's been with phones lately, it's probably best he doesn't upgrade at the minute until he gets his butterfingers under control. <laughs> and I don't mean the candy bar they sell over here. But anyway, on that note, guys, I am going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant, brilliant Tuesday, whatever it is you did today. I hope it was a good one, and we will definitely, we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.